This is the third Asus Tough I'm reviewing this year and this one is special. Let's review Asus Tough A15 with AMD 7940H CPU. This one is amazing. This laptop right here is not that much different from uh, other ASUS TOPS we reviewed and uh, the only difference I think is uh, about the S screen and the CPU. Before starting the review, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and ring the bell icon so you won't miss our next videos. This laptop made out of plastic and it has aluminum lid. This one right here has a limited finish to it because it's the one edition, it's the girl here it's the one edition from china and you can also get it uh, from other uh, stores in other regions of the world but um, it's the special limited edition one and because of that you will get something special in it one of the things is uh, the lid is different from a global version and also there is some difference in uh, trackpad and also some uh, design elements on the laptop Ports on this laptop are good. Uh, we have one AC adapter on the left, uh, one RJ45 at only one gigabit per second, uh, one HDMI 2.1 with up to 8K 60fps support, and two USB Type C ports, one of which has USB 4, uh, which is amazing, and it's a nice thing to see. USB 4 in this price range in this laptop. Also, we have one audio combo jack uh, which has a good sound quality output that I liked and I could play any games I want with this audio combo jack and I could hear footsteps easily in FPS games. And also we got one USB type A with 5 gigabit per second speed on the left and one more on the right which is good. We should all have two USBs on the both side of every laptop and I wanted to save one more USB type A on the left um, because it's a gaming laptop and we gotta use a mouse with dongle or cable. Um, this is not enough. Two USB type A ports is not enough. Keyboard on this laptop has a good feel to it. It's not the best. You can find something better in this price range like in Lenovo Legion, but it got RGB. It has a single zone RGB, uh, which you can customize in Armory Heart software. And also you get a glass trackpad, which is nice and I like this trackpad. It is tactile and accurate. I like using it. Overall in this section, I can give this laptop a nine out of 10 score. I like the design and the port selection and everything on the chassis of this laptop. Uh, we got one problem only that was the USB type A port, which is okay. Also, this laptop has a good hinge. I like the hinge here, it's solid. A screen on this laptop has uh, everything you want. It's a 2.5K 165Hz display at 400 nits, which is amazing. And also it is a color accurate display with up to 100% of sRGB coverage and 100% of DCI-P3 coverage, which is nice. And it, the only problem with this display is it has a screen bleeding. It's not that uh, annoying for me, but uh, if you are watching movies at night, you will notice it. In this section, I can give this laptop a solid 9 out of 10 score. I like this screen and I think if you want to uh, do your work, content creation workloads, or even you want to game on this laptop, this is the one you should get. Because 4060 in this laptop can easily play any game you want in 2K, and this is a good thing to have a 2K screen with 4060. Okay, let's talk about performance. Asus TOF A15 uh, this year has two variants. It has uh, one variant with Ryzen 7 7735H CPU, which technically is 6800H from last year. And there is other model, which is this one. It has 7940H CPU with RTX 4060, um, I liked using it and it got a lot of power for everything I wanted to do. It's a lot faster than 7735H CPU and it was amazing to see this CPU in this laptop because it can run at full power. It's an 8 core 16 thread CPU alongside RTX 4060 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM at 140 watts of power 
which is nice it means it can handle anything any game or any application for you I liked using this laptop. I ran uh, Cinemesh R23 on this laptop, Geekbench 6, I ran Time Spy on this laptop, and also I uh, exported one of my Premiere Pro projects on this laptop, and I got nice results. But if I had Intel CPU instead of AMD, I, I could get better results in Premiere. Because Adobe, I don't know why, doesn't have that compatibility with this laptop. I don't know why. Also, I played some games in this laptop. I played uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I played Valorant, I played Rainbow Six Siege, I played Dota 2, and all of them worked great on this laptop, and I had one of my best gaming experiences when I played these games in this laptop, uh, which was amazing. In the performance section, if I want to um, give it a fair score, I can easily give it 9 out of 10 score. There is no problem with it and it's one of the fastest mid-range gaming laptops you can get right now and if you want to buy a laptop, especially for gaming, I think it is one of the best options you can buy. Speakers on this laptop are good and uh, there is a lot of bass and good loudness but anyway if you buy an external speaker you will get a better sound. It's not that uh, expensive, it's only 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Also, there is a 720p webcam here. Uh, it got almost okay quality. We got uh, a studio lights here. Um, what do you think about the quality here? Tell us in the comments below. And also, what about the sound quality of the microphone? Tell us in the comments. Battery life in this laptop was amazing. It got um, around 7 hours of battery life with a 90 watt hour battery capacity which was amazing and I liked it I didn't have any problems with it overall I liked using this laptop and I think if you want to buy a laptop at uh, around 1500 bucks it is one of the laptops that you can easily get without any concerns about uh, your performance or even your quality of the laptop it was one of the best laptops I've ever used and uh, what do you think about Asus Top A15? Tell us in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.